Hello, my name is Mark Ray. I believe that everyone should know how to play chess, or at the very least know a little bit about it. Chess was invented around 600 AD and was originally an Indian game called Chaturanga. It slowly transformed into what we know it today as it was introduced into new cultures, and each culture put a little bit of a different spin on it. Chess is a very complex game that, util that utilizes strategy to defeat your opponent, which shows that it is important for your ability to adapt to, adapt to new situations as new information arises. Chess is played on an 8x8 eight eight board with white and dark pieces. To fully understand the game, you must know what each piece does. The pawn is a relatively simple part of the game. The pawn is able to move forward one space. The exception to this rule is at the beginning, each pawn has the option to move forward two spaces. And the other exception is when they have to kill a piece, or otherwise known as take the piece. They are able to take the piece if they land on the space of another chess piece that is diagonal to it. Um, the rook is a piece that is able to go as many spaces as it wants uh, going forward, backwards, and sideways without any other piece obstructing its view. If it does, the rook has to take the, the piece that it lands on. The bishop is able to move diagonally across the board without anything obstructing its view. So the same rules apply for the bishop as it does with the rook. If it lands on the same piece, if it lands on the same place as any other piece, then your piece takes that piece. The knight is able to move in an L. So it moves forward two spaces and takes a turn. Now it can make an L in any shape. Uh, upside down L, backwards L, regular L, any, anyway. The queen can do what a rook and bishop do, but they, she can't do what the knight can do. So she can move forward, backwards, sideways, and diagonally. The king is able to move in any direction once. Ultimately, there is really only one way to learn chess, and that is by playing chess. If you do start playing chess, do not be discouraged by losing, because when you make a great move, it proves you outsmart your opponent, and it feels really good. Next. Next, I will be talking about starting out the game. If I had something to show you that would really be helpful, but I don't. So, you have so many options to start out chess. For example, you could start immediately putting the knight out, just because it can skip over. But traditionally, you start with your middle two pawns going out into the center, uh, to the center of the board. Now, the reason people do this is because it's really important to control the center of the board because if you do this, if you have two pawns in the center of the board, it takes up four spaces. So if any other piece lands on that space, it is able to be taken. So it has a lot of control. But because the other opponent knows this, tradition, like Rick, very rarely will you able will will you be able to do that without them trying to stop you. So they'll put a pawn up to try and stop you from doing what you're doing. Now, this for this you need to be able to strategize and assume that they don't want you to be there. So this is where the strategy comes into place. So because they don't want you to move where you want to move, you have to have backup. So if you put a pawn right there, I'll have a knight to back me up, or another pawn. So you can't just take this pawn simply. And it is a great advantage if you are able to take a piece without anything happening. So if you're able to take a pawn and your pawn isn't taken, or rook or bishop, that's really bad for me because you just took one of my pieces. And lastly, I will explain the point system. For each piece. Now, you can kind of calculate if a risk is worth it uh, or if you want to take a piece. So, 
A pawn is one point. A rook is five points. A bishop and knight are worth three points. The queen, I'm pretty sure, is worth eight points. And uh, the king doesn't really have a value because if it's taken, that's game over. So, um, also positioning has some point value, but it's really hard to um, determine um, the point system on where your pieces are. So if you control the center of the board, it's kind of hard to determine how many points it is. But, uh, so anyway, so if I take your rook, for example, for my pawn, so if I sacrifice my pawn for your rook, that's way better for me because I just gave that pawn f like 500 times its value. So, you know, um, so you really don't want that to happen. If I take your pawn with my pawn and you take my pawn, then that cancels out. Um, so no one really wins except for maybe positioning. Um, so now you know a little bit about chess. So if you want to play it, great. If you don't, well, now you know at least a little bit about it. So if you watch someone play, you're able to understand the rules. Thank you.